Roland, so just again, welcome to the Bachelor of General Studies virtual open house session. Um, this session will be give or take about 60 minutes. It could be a little bit more, it could be a little bit less. Um, but either way, this is going to be recorded. So again, if you're not able to attend virtually, you have, I mean, if you're not able to attend live, or if you're having issues with the internet or what have you, this is recorded, we can share that. And as I mentioned before, we do have our Q&A feature. We love hearing from you guys. It's really relevant if you ask your questions and we can answer them directly. So use that Q&A feature. It is at the bottom of your screen. Go ahead and type any questions as the presentation goes on and we'll get to those at the end. And then of course, if you guys have questions, if you wanna reach out to our team directly, our main line number is here at the bottom. So that's 305-284-4000. Um, that being said, as well, you can always connect with us on those social media platforms. Uh, we are on most social media platforms, still Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, all those different things we are there. I invite you guys to uh, search us, connect with us that way, as that is a good way to connect with us as well. Um, and this division of continuing international education is what offers the Bachelors of General Studies program and this division for the University of Miami aims to empower people to reach their full potential through lifelong and life-wide learning. With more than 70 credit and non-credit programs, this division creates continuous learning experiences to transform individuals, transform organizations, and transform entire communities. Um, we do have lots of different programs out there. So at the bottom, you see our link, which is dcie.miami.edu. A lot of our programs are there. Feel free to check that out. Um, that said, we are here to learn about the Bachelor's of General Studies program, and I have the pleasure of introducing some of our team members and our speakers for today. So first and foremost, Shantae O'Neill, she's our Assistant Dean. Um, she's here with us. Hi, Shantae. Um, and as well, we have Monica Bunsen, our director, who you will hear from as our panelist as the uh, presentation progresses. Um, we do have some of our other staff here, which is Jessica Clower, our Senior Academic Advisor, and Margarita Santiago, who's our senior program coordinator. Um, these staff members are here to help you from beginning, during the program, and afterwards. We're here, it's a big team, and we're here just for you as the students. Um, that being said, I want to go ahead and introduce uh, Monica Bunsen, who's going to be our panelist for today. Monica, this is where I just hand it off, and please share with us the information. Wonderful. Thank you, Teddy, for that great presentation and uh, giving you all the ins and outs of our wonderful division as we offer many, many programs in the credit and the non-credit world. The Bachelor's of General Studies program is a student-centered uh, program, uh, very uh, focused on you and where you are and what needs you have right now to complete your degree. We have very many uh, flexible course options. Uh, we offer online, on campus, on weekends and nights uh, uh, during the day as well to fit around your schedule. And we uh, support you and help you take classes in the areas that are of interest and benefit to you where you are in your life and your career. We have what it, we feel is student-centered advising. No one size fits all. We understand that we need to tailor your education to where you are on your educational journey because we value your time uh, and we understand that uh, you have a very uh, full plate on your hands. We are available from this point forward, uh, from the moment that you meet with us today and you submit your application and upon being offered admissions, we are available to you by phone and Zoom. Uh, we also have campus advising uh, uh, once we'll get back all fully back on campus. And we are conscious of the time uh, constraints that you have. So we are available anywhere from eight in the morning till 7 p.m. We have a dedicated staff member that is available to you by phone and Zoom uh, till 7 p.m. on a daily basis. The degree structure of the Bachelor's of General Studies program is that uh, just like all other undergraduate degrees at the University of Miami, you must complete a minimum of 120 credits uh, and you will complete credits in general education, uh, area of concentration, interdisciplinary and secondary focus and an area for electives. Once again, because we are so mindful of your time and uh, where you are in, in this point in your life and you've decided to come back and complete the degree, we have developed online courses uh, to support uh, your schedule needs. And these online courses have all been developed for the Bachelor's of General Studies program, 
uh, the division took great effort and time to transform the courses that are being taught on campus by our distinguished faculty. And these courses are offered to you fully online in an asynchronous manner, meaning that you will be safe, self-paced, you do not have times assigned, and these will complement uh, many of those uh, general uh, education requirements that you might need, need to still complete and your area of concentration as well. And, and so uh, this is definitely one of our uh, newest features and is to support your uh, educational trajectory with us. We also continue to offer on-campus evening classes, on-campus weekend classes. We have a Saturday option where you would only need to attend on Saturday, uh, possibly complementing some of those online courses in the general education to be able to complete your degree by just attending once a week uh, to the campus uh, um, uh, uh, so that you are able to have a very flexible time during your whole week. And we also have short-term uh, session courses, which we call intersessions, and these are offered in the winter, during spring break, and in the summer. And these courses, they're very short uh, amount of days, about 14, 16 days, and these courses help you with your course progression. They'll help you either make up time or advance in a particular year where you know that for whatever reason, you may not be able to hold a traditional semester. The area of concentration is the very special feature of the Bachelor's of General Studies program. Uh, the BGS program is the only one in the university that allows you to blend the curriculums from different uh, schools and colleges. These are all upper level courses. Uh, you can focus on one area of concentration. And when I mention an area of concentration, that's typical of what would be a major and or you can blend curriculums with more than one uh, area of focus. Once your area of concentration is approved and it is very individualized, I probably would say that I don't have uh, more than one student that has exactly the same concentration or the exact amount of courses, the same amount of courses. Once this uh, area of concentration is approved, it will be posted on your official transcripts once your degree is conferred. So I'd like to give you a sample of some of the concentrations of our of BGS graduates. Uh, the areas of concentration have been healthcare, health sector management, business management and communications, business technology with a dual concentration uh, with a certificate, human resource management, intercultural communications, communication leadership, business law and management, sociology and criminology, philosophy and law studies, philosophy and psychology, creative writing, broadcast journalism, sports administration, kinesiology, and physiology. So as you can see, they're all very, very individualized. And uh, like I mentioned before, many of the courses are uh, completely distinct from somebody else uh, that is taking the same even concentration because we make sure that the coursework that you select fits your uh, needs and your areas of focus. Uh, wanted to give you an example of what uh, uh, the skills and the curriculum looks like for some of these concentrations. So the curriculum for healthcare and health sector management, which is one of our most popular um, concentrations, includes courses in healthcare sciences, management and marketing, as well as public health, medical sociology, global health and medical law. The professional skills that you will gain are that you will learn and manage uh, management and leadership skills to use with the healthcare field. You will learn public health law and policy, and you will learn how to communicate with colleagues within the medical field as well as with patients. A successful BGS graduate who earned their degree with this concentration is currently a director at UHealth. Business technology is probably the second most popular concentration that we have students take. And this is both a concentration and a certificate. Uh, the curriculum includes the courses needed from the business technology certificate, which is a total of 24 credits. And six of those uh, BTE required courses in programming, analysis and design and business and data management. You will complement that with four additional uh, business technology courses. And these are offered from the School of Business and they're in the areas of management, marketing and finance. The professional skills that you will gain is that you will learn technical skills in the areas of programming and data analysis and management as, uh, as well. And you will learn business skills and management and leadership for the technical field. A successful BGS graduate who earned their degree with this concentration earned a certificate in, uh, as a business, excuse me, a director of IT. The communication and leadership concentration is the one that is very popular as well because it uh, you are able to attend on Saturdays. 
Uh, the curriculum includes courses in communication and communication studies. The professional skills that you will gain are to learn to effectively communicate in business settings through a verbal and nonverbal and written communication. You will learn to manage and lead teams and you will learn the legal and human resource aspect of business leadership. Again, this concentration is offered on Saturdays uh, by taking a coursework in the maybe the early part of the morning and later in the second part of the day. And then you will complement this, uh, the leadership portion from the School of Business with intercession courses. A successful BGS graduate who earned their degree with this concentration is currently a senior program coordinator. So then we get to, well, how do you become admitted? The admissions requirements and guidelines follow the admissions process for the University of Miami. We really are just one office of undergraduate admissions, but because we understand that your time is precious and you may need additional guidance because it's been a while since you've attended university, uh, we have an internal office and I also am your admissions director and I will be reviewing your file upon receiving your application. Uh, the minimum cumulative GPA that we require is a 2.2, and this is from all previous college. Uh, we must receive your official transcripts. That's the most important uh, item of your admissions file. You must be 20, 22 years older of age and four years out of high school. You must be a U.S. citizen or a permanent resident. You must not have been enrolled in another credit program at UM within the last year. And it's important to know that the BGS program is intended for applicants completing their first degree. The timeline of the admissions process starts when your official transcripts arrive. Teddy and I work uh, the admissions files as soon as you submit your application. And this is the most important part. We need to receive your transcripts so that the timeline starts. And once we receive your transcripts, we have four to six weeks in a very short period of time, we get back to you in confirmation that you are eligible to be admitted. Uh, if you have international credits, those we accept as well. As I mentioned, uh, UM has a generous uh, transfer policy. Uh, international students must submit their transcripts for an evaluation through Joseph and Silniff, and we work very closely with them to receive their uh, certification and upload that to your admissions files. As I mentioned, the transfer credit policy, which is probably one of the, uh, the largest amount of questions that we get at, um, we accept your transfer credits for any courses you received a C or better from accredited institutions. Uh, UM accepts 65 credits from a two-year accredited college and 75 credits for a four-year accredited institution. Credits do not expire. That's very important. Even if you went to school 20 years ago, 25 years ago, that we are very, very used to seeing these types of transcripts um, and they will not expire and we will consider them all. Since we have a very generous transfer policy, it is important to note that the last 45 credits of your degree must be completed at UM. In the event, uh, because we work so uh, closely with your file individually, every single file I review, Teddy uh, helps me and supports me in seeking the transcripts, helping you get your transcripts. But in the event that we, we, we find an impasse and we are not either able to get your transcripts and or the recalculation of your GPA is not quite where it needs to be. First, uh, please know that this is a very common uh, issue and, and we are very experienced in managing them. Uh, we have as a, a second option, the non-degree programs within the University of Miami. We are able to assist you in taking courses at the University of Miami to help you uh, rebuild your GPA and or to get started until we can get your transcripts. Um, and so Teddy and I will work with you on that to make sure to guide you in the right direction. Um, and if you are not eligible for whatever reason for the BGS program, the non-degree program will be a great support option for you. The eligibility requirement is that you must be 20 years of age and you must be two years out of high school. Um, and the maximum allowable credits that we can have you complete in the um, non-degree option is 30 credits, which is 10 classes, which is ample amount of credits to help you rebuild the GPA if that's what the issue is. 
If you are on our presentation today and you are a colleague of ours at the University of Miami and you are eligible for tuition remission and benefits, we have providing to you here some of their contact information for confirmation. And Teddy and I will also support you and guide you to the right person to confirm uh, your eligibility. And so with that, I reintroduce Teddy, who uh, uh, we're a team and, and we work every single file together and individually, very, very focused on what your needs are. And we understand that making that commitment is hard, but know that you will uh, not be alone in this process. Uh, we are there with you right from every single step of the way from graduation, from application to graduation, because that's a definitely our goal. And, and, and that's what we aim to support you every single day. So with that, Teddy, take it away. Awesome. Thank you so much, Monica, and thank you for the information. I think a, a lot of us have a better picture and idea of what the Bachelor of General Studies program is. And um, I want to reiterate just a few things that you said, Monica, which is one, uh, yes, this is very much for the student. This is a student-centered program. We want to be as flexible, as malleable as possible so we can fit your schedule and your needs, right? You want to learn something in particular, we're gonna work with you to make sure you learn that, right? You take those classes. Um, and then of course, as Monica mentioned, during the program, you are gonna be best buddies with Monica and some of our other staff, and even after the program as well. And, and before the program, that's what I'm here to help. Any questions to get you through the doors to help you make that commitment, right? To elevate yourself. Um, so what are these next steps? Essentially, what do you do if you're ready? You, you're ready to join, you're ready to start that um, academic career. It's Honestly, it's very simple. Um, as Monica mentioned, we have some simple requirements. And if you're eligible, if you meet those requirements, then it's a, I break it down into two simple processes. One is you're going to request your transcripts from all previous schools, all colleges, universities, things like that. Request those transcripts to be officially sent from those schools over to the University of Miami. Again, they do need to be official. That's how you know they're typically sealed in an envelope or sent from school to school directly. Um, and then aside from your transcripts, obviously we would need you to apply for the program. So here's our website, bgs.dcie.miami.edu. Uh, that's where you can find a lot of the program information, but the application is there. We do have our own separate application for this bachelor's of general studies program. It's not rolled into all the other degree programs out there like most are. This has its own separate application. Uh, typically there is a fee um, typically, it's about $75. However, currently, we have this kind of uh, waiver going on where essentially the application fee of $75 can be waived entirely. Uh, this will be active until the 30th of September. Uh, and to get that um, basically fee waiver code, I can send you that code myself. Again, my name is Teddy. I'll give you my information in a moment. Um, but essentially, you would request that code from me, and then I'll send you that code so you can enter that in your application. It is important that when you get that code, you put that in the application when you're applying. That's how the fee gets reduced. Um, so just keep that in mind. And then as a reminder, we are applying for the spring 2022 term. So those classes start about January, um, but applications are due much, uh, much more before then. So the deadline for the spring admissions, it's here at the bottom, is November 19th. That's just before the holidays. So it gives ample time for you to be in review or for us to follow up on any missing documents. But again, I'm gonna reiterate that deadline. November 19th is your deadline to apply for the spring 2022 term. Um, that being said, typically this is where we go to our q and I know that we've had some of the questions uh, thrown into the Q&A and at this point, if you do have any other questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in there. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and hand this off to Jessica Clower who will assist us uh, with the Q&A section. Uh, Jessica, I'm gonna go ahead and hand this off to you. Hi everyone, I'm Jessica Clower and I am the Senior Academic Advisor for the BGS program. I have been with the university for a little over 10 years with previously at the Office of Student Accounts and I'm gonna go through some of your questions, answer them for you or hand them off to Monica or Teddy if I can't. So I have a lot, I'm gonna start with the first one. What if UM has our transcripts? So that's great. If UM already has your transcripts because you've applied before for another program or anything like that, we can have access to them. They're all in the same place. You just wanna be sure that if you have attended any schools in between, when you sent those transcripts to UM, we will need 
all of your official transcripts. So do we send the transcripts first or the application? The same time? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it, either one can be um, before the other, but you want to do them at basically as close to the same time as possible. <laughs> and the earlier we get the transcripts, the better, because that's the number one stumbling block that we get when we um, process your application. Are professional credits accepted? Are professional designations also considered for credits? At this time, they are not. Okay. What if we are unable to obtain an official transcript from a previous school? Um, that's when you would possibly go through the non-degree option until you are able to obtain those official transcripts, but they are needed in order to do the program. That's right, right? Yeah. Yes. And I would <laughs> add to that that when we have found difficulty obtaining a transcript, and there's many reasons, some of them, especially their international transcripts, I would say touch base with myself and Teddy, let us know which school you're having difficulty just because our admissions office is so familiar with uh, uh, the issue of transcripts, we may have a contact for you as well. So be sure to um, individually write to us, uh, to both myself and Teddy, and we'll get that answer for you to help you. And then the non-degree option is that great way to get started. It's the same coursework uh, from the university. And because we put you on the path to the BGS program. We actually have you work with a specific advisor who works just with the non-degree students that also works with the BGS program. So you'll never be lost and you will already be on the BGS path if for whatever reason you're not able to start and get your transcripts. And I wanna echo real quick what Monica just said, the transcript process and, and to go back to that question, yes, try to do them both at the same time, the application and the transcripts, that's always ideal. The transcript process does typically take the longest from school to school. I'm not sure what happens, but there's always some sort of hiccup, right? So make sure you are in touch with me, in touch with Monica, in touch with Jessica, so that we can move you forward, even if we're missing transcripts, so we have those other options ready for you. Yeah. The next one is, do you have an estimated amount of cost for this program? There's not an estimated amount because each student will come with transfer credits of different amounts and will apply to, um, there are the general ed requirements and some will apply to different parts of the program. So it really would depend on each student and where they are. And then there is financial aid, just like any other uh, program with the university you would be eligible for financial aid. Um, as well as we do have a scholarship that we work with our students that we are able to give to a lot of our students if needed. Um, so there's not a total estimated cost for the program. We can sit with you individually and look at what you have with your transcripts and determine how much of the program, how long, how many classes you would have to take. And we could do that individual for you if needed. Yes, and definitely I would emphasize, and, and we didn't post it, it is on our website, we didn't post it uh, for you here, the Bachelor's of General Studies program, because it is designed specifically for non-traditional students returning to complete their degree, is at a different tuition rate than the University of Miami. So currently for the academic year 21-22, uh, the charge for credits for the BGS program is $925 per credit, and this is a very discounted uh, rate in comparison to the UM tuition of uh, 2200 and change. So um, uh, to what Jesse was mentioning, the average amount of courses that a student will take uh, is between maybe 50 and 60 if they come with a heavy load of transfer credits. And so that um, amount of credits, the, the residual amount of credits that you need to have will then be divided by how many credits you can take per semester. And we run three main semesters, fall, spring, and summer. And summer is a great opportunity for students to come in and do two semesters because we'll have a summer A, summer B. And as I mentioned before, also intercessions, very valuable uh, offerings in that they're very short term, they're 14, 16 days. So really the pacing of, uh, and to complete your degree depends on you. And that is why our advising 
and the support services are very student centered. Every single student has a different situation, has a different uh, um, timeline. And so we are here exactly for that. And you will find that um, you will always have someone available to talk to um, throughout and we will stay with you. We've all been here a very uh, long time uh, and you'll feel very supported by someone who's very, very familiar with the program. Some more questions is what can hold up my application review process? As I said earlier, the number one stumbling block is the transcripts, is the holding up a, either getting one sent to us from a school, um, that's really, that's it. <laughs> really getting the school to send it to us as fast as possible um, is the best thing to help move your application along. That's the number one issue is that some schools for whatever reason take forever to get those transcripts to us. Um, when do the spring 2022 classes start? I don't know the exact date off the top of my head, but it's usually after the MLK holiday that the spring courses begin. Um, but that it, it, on our website, we have access uh, link under student resources to the academic calendar and it would be there. Can I apply for a graduate degree with this? Yes, we've had uh, plenty of our students do that. It's a bachelor's degree. So um, as long as you meet whatever the requirements are for the graduate degree program, GPA and all that stuff, um, then yes, it's just like any other degree from the University of Miami. Any course or concentration limits, um, they all have to be 300 level or above. There are 10 classes that you have to take within that concentration. There are no limits per se, but you do have to uh, submit a process for a review where you have to provide us with the area that you are thinking about, the classes you're planning to take, and you have to do a few little essays to explain why you're choosing that. And they have to make sense, the courses that you're taking together, um, but there's no technical limit on that. Um, is this and, full and time? really quick, Jessica, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm That's sorry, okay. just to add one thing. Um, as far as concentrations, basically, it, it typically is any cognate within UM that's offered. You can kind of pick and choose the courses within there. I believe uh, nursing is a department that we do have issues getting students in. I believe that's the one that students can't necessarily join. Uh, Monica, I mean, feel free to jump in, but I believe that's yeah, really right. the one limitation. Right. Right. And I think the limitation, as Jesse mentions and Tenny mentions, has to do more with um, requirements. And so you can take any undergraduate courses, but some courses in specific areas, especially in areas of nursing, may have many uh, prerequisites. Some of you have completed coursework prior in, in healthcare or in nursing, and those could make you eligible to take those courses, but the typical student would need to complete several prerequisite requirements, and that adds time. And typically what happens is when you're coming to us or you've come to this point in, of the decision to apply and complete your degree, you've come to the determination uh, that you need to complete your degree usually with a sense of urgency. There's something, there's a job out there, there's a promotion, there's something that you are looking towards and you need to complete that degree that you started as quickly as possible. So although there are many concentrations that you would want to take, um, if they're heavy on the prerequisites, we will coach you, we will work with you to help you decide what's best for you. I have some of my students that are maybe uh, um, just, you know, they're not that uh, in need of, of, of a time, a rush to complete that degree. So they will do all the requisites, prerequisites, and they may even go beyond 120 credits because they have that allowance of time or meet prerequisites for the graduate school. Uh, so they, they'll add that to themselves. So the limitations really are, what is the goal? Where do you want to be? Where do you want to go? And I have to add that the majority of our undergraduates that come in and they'll say, well, yeah, I just need to complete this degree. But I would say probably 80% of them will go on to graduate school because now it's just a part of your life. You've reconnected with ed education and you are not going to stop. So uh, for sure, as you can see, I think from, the, 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 from all of us is, is that every situation is very different. And that is what we pride ourselves in is to give you that level of support. Some more questions. Um, is this full-time? It can be whatever works for you. We have students who attend full-time. We have students who do one class each semester and that's all they're able to do. It's really up to what fits with your schedule. 
So we have a lot of people who work. And so most of our students are taking one, two, three classes a semester. But as I said, you can do it full time if that's what you want. Whatever works for your schedule, we'll work with you to find classes that fit within that. Um, I've already answered that. Is there financial aid available? As I said, you, you would be eligible for financial aid, just like any other bachelor's program, um, as well as we do have some scholarships offered through our program if you're eligible. Uh, another question, if I have no college classes completed, what then? I'll let you answer that, Monica. Sure. Uh, well, yes, absolutely. Uh, if you do not have any college credits and what we need is your high school diploma and we'll receive the official transcripts of your high school diploma. And once again, please do not hesitate if your diploma or your or your that particular type of transcript is from 20 years ago. It happens a lot. And, and uh, most of them are brought in electronically and or you can mail them here directly to my office. Um, if you have a GED, we have also the, uh, the scales of the, of the standard scoring for what's an equivalent for a GED, no matter when you took it. So then you would need to provide that in an official manner as well. So yes, and we will guide you and, and provide you especially that extra support that you need as a new um, undergraduate student um, where you are not the typical undergrad, uh, you're more than the non-traditional, but we'll walk you along the way uh, every, every semester to provide you the support that make sure that you get the correct classes. Perfect. Um, and then, as I said earlier, is this equivalent to a traditional bachelor's program? Yes, it is. And would we automatically be registered to the non-degree program after applying? If you apply for the non-degree program and are admitted, then you would be automatically into that program once you're admitted. But we do um, meet with any new admittance in the non-degree or the bachelors of general studies. We meet with every single one of the new students the first time uh, before you register for your first class. There, you're technically in the program, but there will be a hold on your account, an advising hold to meet with us. And that can be any way that works best for you. As we said earlier, we can be, meet over the phone, via Zoom, uh, we can even, I've chatted through some, uh, through Skype with some people, through Teams to help them, whatever works best for you. It doesn't have to take a whole lot of time. Um, and I think that is all of the questions that we have so far. If you have any more questions for us, you can give us a call at the number. It's still up there, the 305-284-4000, option two, or you can email us at bgs at miami.com. EDU, or you can email or call Teddy, um, and we can all help you with whatever questions if you think of them later. And I'm going to head it, hand it back over to Teddy to finish this up. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jessica. And yeah, just to reiterate exactly what she said, my information has been on the screen, gang, so feel free to write that down. I'll give everybody a moment before we switch slides. Um, again, Teddy Boltana, that's my name. I am the enrollment advisor, so typically I'm the first person you speak with. Um, but I'm definitely not the last, right? So feel free to reach out, 305-284-3049. Um, and my email is txb426 at miami.edu. Here's our main information though. Um, as you can see, we have a lot of staff members. Um, so 305-284-4000, you can speak with any of our staff members that way. And again, as I mentioned, our division has a lot of other programs. So if you're looking for something other than the bachelor's, I mean, again, feel free to speak with our team. Um, our website is where you guys want to head to next. This is essentially where you're going to find the application and more information. So that's bgs.dcie.miami.edu. Again, that is where the application can be found. But as a reminder for those of you that did um, tune in earlier, um, currently we are waiving the application fee of $75. Um, that will be lasting until the 30th of September. So reach out to me. Again, my name is Teddy305-284-3049. So I can go ahead and manually send you that code and you can use that when you're applying for the program. Um, that being said, as a reminder, anybody that joined later that may have missed the session, uh, this is being recorded. So we will distribute that if necessary. And I always tell students, check our YouTube page. Uh, we do have the information on our uh, YouTube page um, as far as this recorded session. 
Um, but I want to thank everybody for being here. Thank you all of you that are here and took the time to be here middle of the day, maybe during your, your lunch hour. It's an important thing. You're, you're focusing on your future and we're here to help you get to that future. Um, as you can see, we have a lot of staff, Monica, Jessica, Shantae, and all of our other staff members that are here. Thank you all for helping get this information session together and out to those students. Um, again, for those of you that um, need the website, it is on the screen, BGS dot dcie dot miami dot edu um, and again thank you so much for being here as a reminder there's a, a quick uh, short survey at the end of the webinar i believe it will be sent out um, so keep an eye out for that any feedback is always good to hear questions guys feel free to reach out we're here to help um, but all that being said again thank you for being here and that's about all we have have a great rest of um, your day